Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you my immersive engineering mod spotlight specifically for Minecraft 1.18. So for this mod spotlight, I'm going to be using the mod pack All the Mods 7. And if you follow the playlist, I've already completed Tinker's Construct and a little bit of refined storage. So refined storage is going to be a mod that I'm going to use to streamline this mod spotlight so that everything is crafted quicker and everything's in one spot. So today, what we're going to focus on with immersive engineering is how to get creosote oil and how to make treated wood so that we can make all of the initial machines uh, required to progress in immersive engineering. So the first thing that we're going to do is, of course, we're going to make the three tools that we need. These, go these dudes are pretty simple. We just need sticks and iron, so we can plus this. There's the wire cutters. We need the engineer's hammer, which is just string, iron, and sticks. Also super easy. And then we need the engineer's screwdriver, which this guy, he's going to require one of the uh, iron rods from uh, Immersive Engineering. And that one is super simple. It's just two iron ingots on top of each other gives you four iron rods later on in the series we're going to make the metal press and the metal press is going to make these iron rods for much cheaper than this so let's go ahead and just make four of these guys real quick and then we can uh plus one of them in for the screwdriver so that's the four tools that we're going to need the hammer what it does is it makes plates from ingots and the wire cutters, what that thing does is it makes wires from plates. So we're going to be able to use these tools for now until we get the metal press up and running. The uh, item that we're going to make first for today's episode is going to be the Coke oven. And the Coke oven, what it requires, is going to be clay balls, bricks, and sandstone. So we need a total of 27 of these guys. So we'll grab that and our hammer. Uh, I also have a hopper and a chest, so we can attach a sneaky hopper to this guy. I'll show you guys how to do that. And I've already chosen a spot. We're going to make our immersive engineering stuff back here behind Tinker's Construct, over in this area here. And then, of course, you guys know me. I'm going to move stuff around, uh, make it look all, all fancy, too. First thing we're going to do, we're going to put down our chest. We're going to attach the hopper to the back of it like that and then we're going to build a three by three on top of this guy and then like i said we'll make it look uh we'll make it look nicer later so we'll put one here three and then we'll have our base of three let me also put down a temporary dirt block so i can get back up here and we'll go ahead and build this guy out so that we have a three by three of these coke bricks sitting on top of this unit here. Let's get rid of this guy. Then we need to take our engineer's hammer and we'll right click the front like this. And there we go. We have a coke oven from Immersive Engineering. This guy is what's going to help us get the creosote oil that we need to progress. So what I did is uh, I formed a bunch of my coal into blocks of coal. This machine, it can take uh, either regular coal or blocks of coal, and it will slowly start smelting them. Of course, blocks of coal are going to take a lot longer, but it will give you an entire block of coal coke instead of singular pieces. Plus, it'll mostly fill up this entire gauge here with the creosote oil that we need to make treated wood. So we'll let this guy uh, smelt out a little bit. Since we have a uh, sneaky hopper attached to the bottom of this multi-block it won't form any of the blocks of coal coke in here it'll immediately pull it out and drop it into the chest here which i just realized i can't open <laughs> so let me get a different chest that can open down here all right so there's our first block of coal coke and we have five buckets of creosote oil ready for us. So this is how we get creosote oil in immersive engineering. Uh, I went ahead and I removed the sneaky hopper and the chest since it did not uh, let me open it. But I thought, hey, this is perfect. We're going to make uh, something immersive engineering related. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these buckets in here. We'll be able to pull them out 
We'll grab five of them for now. These guys can stack. They can stay in there. We'll let this guy keep cooking now that we have buckets of creosote oil. What we need to do is we need to wrap these guys with uh, any kind of planks, and that will turn these into treated wood planks. We can switch these out to make ourselves some treated wood. All right, that's our five. And what I was talking about is let's go ahead and make one of these wooden storage crates, which is super simple. It's just uh, a regular chest recipe, but with the treated wood instead. And we'll put this guy in the front and attach the sneaky hopper to this dude right here. Shift boop. These wooden storage crates are awesome. We'll be able to access these without uh, needing the, the chest to open. So we can put this anywhere in any block face and still be able to access it. And as you can see, the sneaky hopper immediately pulled out that block of coal coke we've already made and put it inside of the wooden storage crate. Other than that, let's go ahead and make some treated sticks from the treated wood. And let's go ahead and make some treated wood scaffolding. So let's make two crafts of these so that we can make this look a little fancier over here. So that it's not hanging suspended up in the air. While we are waiting for the, uh, the block of coal to uh, cook, I went ahead and I cleaned up the area, gave it a little nice base to match uh, our aesthetic we're going on, and uh, put a crafting table so we could start crafting. So to end off this episode, it's going to be short and sweet. Uh, we can also use different mods to be able to pull the creosote oil out of the machine. So since we just completed Tinker's Construct, we could, if we wanted to, make one of these seared fuel tanks, add one of the seared faucets to the side, activate it with a two button machine switch, which is just a fancy version of a lever to activate the seared faucet. It will pour the creosote oil when it fills up. It'll pour it into the seared fuel tank, which will store it for us outside of the, uh, the immersive engineering Coke oven. What's great about these, uh, seared fuel tanks from Tinker's Construct is we can break these and we can move them somewhere else too. Also, if you're completely done with creosote oil and you're sick of it and you don't need it anymore, and what you want to do is uh, just let this thing run AFK so that all of these blocks of coal turn into blocks of coal coke, and you never want this buffer to fill up and have the entire unit stall, you could replace the tank here with a liquid trash can. So if we put a liquid trash can here, we make sure that there's redstone on the faucet. Whenever one of these blocks fills up, it will immediately pour it out into the trash can and void it for you if you have no use for creosote oil anymore. Since we're really early in this uh, mod tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this seared fuel tank. I'm going to gather up a decent amount of uh, creosote oil in here so that we uh, never run out of treated wood for everything that we need to do in the future. And there we go. It's purging the creosote oil right out of the, the, the Coke oven. It's slowly draining. It's not showing the animation for it, but the seared fuel tank is filling up, which is pretty cool. And it's almost empty. And... There we go, empty. So this guy will keep cooking. We'll have creosote coming out the back for now, which uh, this setup with the faucet, the faucet can be put anywhere on the multi-block as long as you have something that it can pour into. And then we have uh, the sneaky hopper pulling out the blocks of cold coke and putting them into the wooden storage crate underneath. So we'll, we'll let this guy run. I'll gather up a good amount of creosote oil and then uh, I'm probably going to void the rest since we don't need that much creosote oil to continue with this mod. Uh, so I'll put the trash can in its place so that this guy keeps making us cool coke even when I'm AFK. We have one more thing that we can make uh, to finalize this first episode of uh, Immersive Engineering 1.18. 
and that is going to be this guy here, the engineer's toolbox. So now that we can make wooden storage crates, uh, we can grab red dye from poppies, we can make aluminum plates with the hammer by putting two aluminum next to each other. Or what I did in this case is I used Tinker's Construct, I made a mold or a cast for one of the plates and uh, I'm, mel I'm melting them in the Tinker's Construct's meltery and casting them out this way. But as soon as we have uh, the metal press going, we'll be able to automate uh, aluminum plates and all kinds of plates, iron plates and stuff like that with the immersive engineering metal press. So this guy, the engineer's toolbox is pretty cool. With this guy, we can right click it to open it up. We can put our tools in here from immersive engineering. We have an inventory here for wiring stuff and we have an inventory here where anything can go inside. So we could put our treated wood and our sticks and our buckets in here. This will be specifically for the wires we carry around. And this one is specifically for tools. Also, it has a little bit of a food section, which I think is pretty funny. So if you have any kind of food that you wanna carry around with yourself, these three spots can carry the food as well. What's neat is you can shift right click this guy down on the ground, have a little toolbox that's around. You can right click it, open it up, shift right click it to pick it back up. You can also right click it in your inventory just to have like a mini inventory inside of an inventory. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like to keep this series going and click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft. If you want to see the full unedited progress, hit up my Twitch at twitch.tv slash ddanicus. I put the link in the description below for you guys.